So here we are, we're back inside the um, X-Genville portal base. Um, that should be there. If we uh, just take the rail this way, hopefully that zombie pigman isn't in my way. Of course he is. So when that happens, you just go around him. Uh, find the next powered rail. And plop your cart down and just push. So this will take us to... Um, I think what's currently the only generated jungle biome on the server. Um, so if you want to try... F oh, come on. That needs to be taken care of. Um, if you want to try finding some uh, wild cats, just make sure you have some fish on you. Uh, the wild cats do respawn. So don't worry about like overcatching any of them because... It'll just come back, and there's going to be plenty for everyone. Uh, hopefully, I already have a bunch. And so you just come over here. Uh, you go inside, and you spawn inside this little portal hut. And here's the jungle. Uh, don't chop down any of the tall trees. Uh, we have saplings. Just ask one of us if you want a sapling or two and you can grow your own. But the tall trees are really hard to regrow or regenerate in in the jungle. Um, so just try not to chop them down. This is really useful because uh, I find a lot of cats around here. And you can go fishing here too. So you just fish while you wait for cats to show up. Could take a few hours before you get um, the number of cats that you want, or just to get all the different colors because they're different rarities too. So you'll end up with like a lot of orange ones and like one Siamese. Um, but yeah, there isn't uh, there isn't a jungle temple in here because it was generated pre 1.3. So. Um, yeah, you're not going to find anything too fancy in here. And I'm not going to take you through the entire jungle, because that would just be a waste of time. But you can explore it for yourself if you want. So, that's it for the jungle. And now we can head over back to Extranville and into Poseidon's Reach. So, once again, back at the Extranville portal base. If we go up these stairs here, and take this rail, which is two minutes long. It's a really long trip, so just like you can tab out, just make sure you're watching the screen in case this happens here, or you get a zombie pigman in the way and you have to break your card. Because if you hit a zombie pigman, you will end up back at the start and you'll have to do it all again. So just be careful. Um, at one point, there is a branch of this that leads to the university. Um, so if you want to get to the university by rail, um, university, airport, university, yeah. If you want to get to the university by rail, you'd go this way. Uh, you just break your cart in the middle and then go down that path. It's a very short ride of like 10, 15 seconds, maybe. I guess the reason that we do the uh, nether transport is because, um, if you're unfamiliar with how the nether works, um... The coordinates in the nether and the end in the overworld are related. If you travel one block in the nether, it's equivalent to traveling eight blocks in the overworld. So, this rail line is uh, one kilometer long, or a thousand blocks long. Which means Poseidon's Reach is eight thousand blocks away from, uh, New e from Exchenville. So, okay, we're uh, reaching the end here. Um, some dude just left their iron stuff in there. And over here is the official start of the, um, 1.0 terrain generation. This was all built, uh, post, uh, Minecraft's official release. Or, at least the, the rail was built and it wasn't opened and we didn't activate the portal until 1.0 came out. And so it's only in this back area of the nether that you're going to find some of the nether fortresses and such. 
Um, there's nothing back there. That's just all generated before they were put into the game. Um, so this here is the Poseidon's Reach portal. Um, there's another two branches here that lead to some other interesting locations, which we'll talk about later on. Um, this is Poseidon's Reach. It's essentially Xgenville V2. Um, again, uh, 16 residential areas, or plots, 32 by 32 squares this time. The water comes with the plot, so you have to build around the water. And there's a lot of cool buildings here. Um, and there are some public farms, like you got the tree farm, wheat farm, cane farm, down there. And for the first time on the server, what should be proper animal farms, but of course they keep escaping. Um, let me just head down to the bottom here, they're probably all in this hallway. Nope. How did the sheep get in here? Oh, 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 crap. Come on, don't do that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll fix it later. Well, yeah, what happens is that a lot of the mobs like to glitch out of the walls and they'll hop over the fences. And we'll just be walking around outside. Joe. If you ask Joe, he'll say he doesn't know how to build. And as evident by this just block of wood in the middle of all these other buildings. Um, this here is mine. It's got a whole bunch of domes. Um, and of course the um, necessary shadow water fountain. Um, Justin's, I think that's um, Defectives. Uh, Hoofings. Uh, Noodle Boodle, she doesn't come on the server anymore. Uh, this is Dragons, and that's Freddy's back there. And if we come this way, there was, there's, I think, sort of a public mine over here. And I'm not sure if it's public or if it's Justin's or what, but Justin made it. You can go over there, and out this way, I don't have a boat right now, but if I did, I'd show you. There's a whole series of underwater domes right over here. Uh, if you have an idea for something that should go into one of them, just let Justin know. And if he gives you the okay, you can go ahead and build something in there. Now, out that way is the tundra biome. Uh, the tundra base. I'm not going to show it to you because there isn't really anything important there. Uh, Nick and Joe just built a lot of stuff out there. Uh, one of them was doing a Rubik's Cube. And Joe has a house. And it's essentially the it, it is the biggest it's actually gigantic um tundra biome. So if you ever need snow or anything, just head over there and just go somewhere that you don't see people have built stuff and just you can take the snow off the ground right there. It's cool, it's not a big deal. So that's up the uh cobble stairs to the um on the right hand side of the nether of the portal base in the nether. Uh, the other important locations are along, if you go up the stairs that are straight, straight across from the rail. So that way will take you to the tundra, and this way will take you to our spleef arena. Here we are, uh, spleef arena is right here. Uh, this was designed designed by me and built by uh, myself and a few of the other guys on the server, Justin, Defective, Nick, Joe, Hoofing, they all helped out. Um, so this is, again, further north from Poseidon's Reach. Um, just go downstairs, run right inside. So you come up through here. The uh, downstairs section, as you can see, clearly isn't finished yet. But it's all built with snow. Uh, when we finish, there are going to be a whole bunch of chests here that have uh, shovels in them so that you don't need to use your own tools on them. Uh, this button opens. That button will open your, your section's uh, fence gates. 
to uh, mark the start of the game. You just run around, and if you don't know what Spleef is, just look it up on YouTube. It's a really fun game, where the objective is just to make the uh, make your opponents fall through the ground. Uh, I'm not going to take you downstairs because I don't know if I've built a ladder that comes up back up yet. But you, you don't die, you don't lose your stuff or anything, you just fall and take a couple of hits of damage. And that's pretty much the Spleef Arena for you. Now, if you continue following the rail uh, north even further, you'll reach the proper city that we're building. It's an actual, not like a uh, X-Gen Veil or Poseidon's Reach, but a city with skyscrapers and a library and stuff. Which I'm not going to show you right now because it's not finished. But hopefully soon within the next few weeks to uh, next couple of months, we'll have it done. And I can show you... I can show you what's up with it, because it's coming along really cool right now. But I'll do a video on that once we finish up with, um, once we finish up with it. So, at this point, as of right now, June 25th, this concludes the server tour. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I know it was long, so thank you for sticking around. If you have any questions, feel free to ask any of us, or post a thread on the forums asking for help. And we'll be more than happy to assist you. So, that's it for the XGen server. See you all later.